Hi, it's Christopher Dean, and in this video, we're going to look at the new prototyping features in Sketch 65. Okay, we all know that there is software out there with more advanced prototyping features than Sketch, but this is a look at how we can stay inside Sketch, prototype, and see if that's enough for your stakeholders, clients, or your customers. Whether you want to do some user testing or whether you just want to show a client the flow of an app. And this is what we're going to be prototyping. We've got a chat app here where we've got the list of chats that you have. We've got a profile screen that we open from that screen. We've got a logout action sheet at the bottom, just confirming whether you want to do that or not. And then we've got another page, which is an empty state for your calls. If we go back here, you can see all of the orange lines that are what you normally see when you prototype and sketch linking to each other. And I'm just going to run this to show you the two new features that Sketch has introduced in Sketch 65 for prototyping. And they are the ability to fix elements. So you can see that the title bar up here is fixed and the tab bar at the bottom is also. And maintain scroll position between screens. So if I scroll to the bottom here and then open the profile, you can see that it's still scrolled to the bottom. And if I scroll back up and then close profile, it's back where it was. Calls, shuffles along and then comes back. And then we click prototype, scroll down, hit logout, scroll back up and hit cancel and everything returns to where it should be. Now, if I click through to calls again and come back, just play around with the prototype, you can see that it's pretty good as a click through prototype. So let's get into how we build this. That's on the done page. Let's go to the prep page where nothing has been set up. And if I select that first artboard and then run it, everything scrolls. The same thing happens for the screen and the others as well. So the first thing we need to do is fix the elements we don't want to scroll. And that would be the status bar and nav bar here at the top. I'm going to go over to the inspector and you can see fixed position when scrolling. Let's just tick that on. And then the tab bar at the bottom, we want to do the same thing, fixed position when scrolling. And if we preview that, you can see that that's set up nicely. Let's go to the profile artboard, select status bar, the menu, the nav bar and tab bar and fixed position when scrolling for all of them. And when we run this artboard, you can see that everything is fixed except for the scrolling area in the middle. Now, that's not really natural, but I'm just trying to do it as a demo for you. If a menu was open like this, you wouldn't be able to scroll up and down there. For the logout artboard, we're going to select status bar, nav bar, and action sheet. Fix their position. And on the calls artboard, we don't need to fix anything because it's 812 high, which is the height of an iPhone X or an 11 Pro, which is what we're going to be prototyping in. And with that done, let's set up the prototyping. And my nav bar up here is a nested symbol, so I'm going to have to drop a hotspot onto it. I'm just going to turn my grid on and zoom in. And up in the toolbar, I'll put the hotspot tool. I'm just going to go and drag where I want that to be and resize it. Zoom back out. And I want to connect it to this artboard. So I'm going to hit the tool next to the hotspot tool, which is linked to artboard. And it's going to let me drag around until I find my target. And then I'm going to hit it there. I'm just going to have the animation set to no artboard animation because I just want it to open. And I'm just going to test what that does. Okay, so we've set up opening the profile. Now we're going to go back to the previous screen by doing the same thing. I'm going to drop a hotspot in there. And then zoom in and resize it. Let's zoom back out. Link to artboard again and point back to the previous artboard. And I'm also going to go over to the inspector and select maintain scroll position after click. Let's go and do that with this one too. So now we'll have the ability to scroll down, open the profile, 
scroll back up and close it. Okay. Okay, let's turn up our grid here, go down to the tab bar, and we're gonna set up a hotspot over calls. Make sure we size this, do we want it to be? And that's pretty good there. Zoom back out, turn off the grid. Tell this to go all the way over to calls. And this time we want it to animate in from the right. We're going to go to the nav bar, do another hotspot, resize it. Zoom back out. Tell it to go back to the chat screen. And then we're going to animate in from the left. Okay, Let's see what that does. All right. We also want to set up a hotspot at the bottom here over chats so we can get back there with the back arrow or this tab. Let's do the same thing. Animate in from the left. Fantastic. If we go back to the profile artboard, we wanna set up the logout. And since this is a standalone symbol, we don't need a hotspot. We can just select it. Tell it to link to the logout artboard. Select maintain scroll position after click and make sure there's no animation there. And then in the logout outboard, we're going to select the cancel button, tell it to go back to the chat screen, maintain scroll position after click and no animation as well. Okay, let's just see if this has all worked. In the prototyping menu, we're looking at the chat screen and I want this to be the start of the prototype. I'm going to hit the flag here, which does that. And then we're going to see if everything worked. I'm going to scroll down, open profile, scroll back up, close profile. Open profile again, go to logout, scroll up, go to cancel. Okay, that worked as well. Go to calls, go back, go to calls again, and then use the chats link here to go back. And okay, that's it. We've set up a little prototype that shows you what you can do with the new features that are in Sketch 65. And if we close this and save it, we can go preview it on Sketch for Teams if you have it hosted there. And here in Sketch for Teams, you can see the file I've been working on, which, uh, by the way, is going to be in the description of this video, so you can download it and go along with me. And you can see a prototype up here on the top left. We're just going to select that. And we're pretty much going through the prototype that we just built, but in Sketch for Teams. I'm going to open the profile, go to Logout, scroll down, go to Cancel, scroll back up, go to Calls and back. And hover over the prototype you can see that I can copy the link to the prototype and this is a great way to share the prototype with who needs to see it and approve your design. Just going to copy that, go to another browser and then load it there. And you can see that it loads there as well. And that's it for this video. We prototyped something pretty quickly that you can get into the hands of a customer to test or your product owner or stakeholder to have a look at and approve. I hope you're all keeping safe out there, looking after yourself and your family. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.